United have finally signed a central midfielder in the name of Marcel Sabitza to cover for the injured Christian Eriksen. And Casemiro seen red due to poor officiating against Crystal Palace. The timing of this transfer could not have been more ideal. Being technically gifted, very very two-footed, having impressive stamina and a great football and tactical IQ, Sabisa has all the qualities to fit into this current United midfield. Sabisa, I will consider, is a combination of Fred's tenaciousness, work rate, and stamina, mixed with the poise, technical ability, and creativity of Christian Eriksen, which makes him the slight, like slightly a more suitable choice as the number eight, that is the box to box to roaming playmaker role for this United team. Sabisa will superb on the ball, and he will offer United much needed quality in this midfield that is lacking in depth. Marcel Sabisa is a modern day midfielder. Having played for both German Giants in FC Bayern Munich and RB Leipzig, he has ticked two boxes in everything he has wishes. The first box, which I will call the box of dominance, control and possession, which is the Bayern box. There yeah, has learned to master his game in poise and control. And the second box, which is the Leipzig box, which is how to press, defend, and counter attack. These two box work hand in hand in the vision, everything has as encapsulated for my United. Secondly, he offers a handful of mythic qualities. Why I say Sabesa is a complete midfielder because he offers the three main midfield roles, which I would say, which are ball progression, ball retention, and chance creation. Ball retention is all about keeping the ball, controlling the ball, and detecting the play. Ball progression is how you escape from the press, how you build up, and how you open up other defenses. And chance creation is just plainly simple how to create chances to get goals and get you to win against opposition. Sabesa offers you these three things. Due to him being very, very technical on the ball, having a different variety of passing styles and having a very good passing range. Having a good defensive quality, being two footed, being pressure resistant, and having a poise on the ball to offer you these three main midfield objectives. Defensively, Sabesa is decent. Having played for Arabizing, I won't say a very dominant side. The sides we often lean on Kenya person and counter attacks. He's had his fair share of defending, playing a single pivot or double pivot defending. Kusabisa has a good tactical knowledge and positional awareness to play in the defense system. He's often seen playing for Austria as a lone six, which means he can hold himself as a defensive midfielder. I want to say isn't praised for his work rate. He has incredible stamina. And an incredible work rate. We can go for matches on and on and on with full energy from the first minute to the last, which is very, very vital for this United team. Because if Eric can come back, Eric doesn't have the legs to continue. We have a Sabitza who can come and cover for the minutes, and the quality won't dip or the quality won't, won't diminish in this part. I've seen Marcel Sabesa as United's version of Akira Gundogan, the midfielder that offers you every single team, every single aspect. He creates, he controls, he defends. What more? What more do you need? 
is just quite simply what I call policy. If it were up to me, I would have loved if if United gets him you know, final permanent transfer just to have that much bit of policy on the bench. He will play games, he will offer vast option, he will offer variety in different systems and different oppositions. Sabisa has been a brilliant loan signing so far and I hope it works out so that we we'll get him on a permanent and final transfer.